welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to film a very regular working from home day because I've been watching a lot of these videos and it inspired me to film one of my own and I just really love to watch people do very regular mundane things. I don't know if you guys are the same. Um, and I also wanted to break up my content a little bit. I've been doing a lot of sit down handbag related videos, which is great, but it is nice to kind of switch it up a little. And when I think about it, my work from home days, I definitely have like a set routine. Obviously when I'm heading into the office, I'm traveling a good 40 minutes. So when I'm working from home, I have so much extra time up my sleeve. So in the mornings, I pretty much get up and I like to have a shower, hop into active wear pretty much straight away, and then I do like a speed clean of the house. And I've made myself a coffee and I start work in about 10 minutes. So pretty much the plan for today is I time block. So from 7.30 till about 11.30, I'm at my desk on the computer. I like to write a to-do list and I pretty much just work through my list. And then at 11.30, I like to take Remy for a walk. We'll probably head down to the beach. And then I pretty much just eat lunch at my desk and work until four o'clock. So without further ado, I am just going to start my list because I don't actually start work for like another 10 minutes and I like to spend a bit of time before work just to get my to-do list going and plan out my day. Date. I have already gotten through almost half of my list and it's only been an hour and a half but I do need to leave like a good chunk of my day to work on a quarterly report but I thought I would just jump on and for those of you who don't know what I do for work I'm basically a data analyst I did study business marketing and graphic design at uni which is definitely not what I'm doing as my full-time job now I did try it for about 12 months I was a marketing coordinator and I liked it, but I am happy to get my creative outlet through my blogging and my YouTube. For me, what makes a good job isn't so much the content of the work, it's having a really great team, it's having flexible work arrangements where I can work from home, and it's just having a little more structure. So I really enjoy my job. I don't see, I never really look for other jobs because I keep very busy with this one and then obviously with my YouTube and my Instagram I'm very busy with that as well and that gives me that marketing social media kind of creative outlet so that's a little bit of a background as to what I do I would love to know what you guys do I have so many returning viewers and I have no idea some of you I don't even know where you're from and secondly I don't know what you do as your day job so let me know in the comments below but anyway I've got to get back into this report and then I will go for a walk at lunch um, was there anything else I wanted to mention I've been selling a lot on Depop lately, so yes, I went to the post office and posted a bunch of stuff. I've also bought a lot of stuff off Depop, so I'm keeping a tally of what I've bought, and I'm hoping to do a video on what I plan to wear this spring summer, um, a bit more of a styling video. So I've got a lot of videos coming up, guys. I have been filming heaps in the background, and I have about four videos ready to go. I just need to you know, finish editing them, editing them and getting them up. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do. There's a lot of content coming from me and I feel as though it's that time of year where there's just a lot of fun things coming up and a lot of change. So it's definitely a fun time on YouTube as well. I love watching everyone's videos at the moment. I know a lot of people are heading into autumn. I'm loving watching all the cozy vlogs. Whereas here, we are, it is, it's almost like overnight. It is hot weather. As soon as winter's over, it's pretty much hot. And spring is the best. Summer is just too hot, but spring is the most beautiful time. I'm gonna stop rambling and I'll jump back on when we head for our lunchtime walk. <music> but it's not. We are just customers of HelloFresh, have been for years. 
and we love it. We usually wait until there's like a deal on um, because it can be quite expensive. I mean, it's, I wouldn't say it's expensive because you do pay for the convenience. We are considering just um, to stay on HelloFresh for a while. We go through stages, but whenever we have HelloFresh, it just makes our life easier. I'm not a huge, I mean, I don't hate cooking, but because I'm always working on YouTube stuff of an evening after work, I just feel like I don't have the time to cook. And yeah, so HelloFresh just makes our life so much easier. And whenever we don't have it for a while, they'll give us a call and they'll be like, oh, we noticed you haven't had HelloFresh for a while. Um, here's a discount code and then we'll use that and we'll get it again. So this box and the last box was 40% off. And then the next two boxes are 20% off. And I think with 40% off, it came down to $100. And we get the four meals for four people because I like to have leftovers for lunch the next day. So I thought I would just come out, show you guys what I chose and put it away in the fridge and then I can get back to work. So we went for the seared bit beef rump and chili garlic butter. That looks delicious. I try to go one beef, one chicken, one veggie and one fish kind of when I'm choosing. Um, and then we've got the quick oyster sauce, chicken and veggie stir fry. That looks delicious. We have the honey soy glazed salmon and ginger rice. I'm really keen for that because I haven't had salmon for ages. And then this one looks like it might be a Friday kind of meal. Quick bacon and mushroom fettuccine. I have had this one before. It is so yum. So they're the meals I chose. And I am just going to put all this, oh, we got some Nutrigrain as a freebie. Oh my God, I haven't had Nutrigrain for years. When I was a kid, we only ever got Nutrigrain. Actually, this would be a yummy snack. I might have one. Um, Cause I used to just eat it like this, but we used to get this on holidays and, mm, oh, this is different. Vanilla malt flavor, oh my God, what a treat. I'm gonna take that to my desk. And yeah, I'm just gonna pull this away and get back into it. have arrived so there are two I didn't think that both would come today but they have so I have them here and I thought you know what I was gonna save it and do like a separate video unboxing but I think those videos don't actually get many views anyway I think a lot of people would prefer me doing like a um, review and styling on a bag rather than the actual unboxing so I may as well unbag both of them with you so the first one this is the one that got delivered on Friday and then um, I wasn't here. So they re-delivered it today and this one was scheduled to arrive today. So let's go ahead and open it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So both from eBay from Japanese sellers. I have not given a sneak peek at all as to what this is and I'm just hoping it's definitely bigger than I thought. They always are. Okay, actually, is it in a dust bag? Oh my god, it's in a dust bag. That does not happen often. Oh, look at the dust bag. It's like a beautiful, silky, Gucci dust bag. And if you open it up, guys, you are going to die. Look at this. The cutest little summer basket bag um and i think oh my god oh my god this is so good okay so so it's got silver hardware first of all which i haven't had a bag from gucci that just has silver hardware oh yep so on the inside it's already going on my fingers it's um that sticky or flakiness which is what happened with my Gucci Diana tote so I was fully aware that I was going to be fixing this up you can take the in, inner part out um, so that way this won't get ruined you can't even just use it like that like how cute is that it's got the bamboo handles and then you've got this beautiful woven leather and guys basket bags like this are usually so expensive like designer ones because they're so popular everyone loves a basket bag 
and look how cute it is. Oh my gosh, can you believe? I was looking on eBay all day and then this just popped up and I was like, oh my god, how have I not seen that before? And then you've got all this detail here, so a leather drawstring with little bits of bamboo on the edges. And what I'm going to do, actually this is good. I thought that it was the same material as the Gucci Diane tote, so I was worried that if I clean this out, it would turn into that grey kind of felt colour that the other that one did. But this is like a velvet on the outside, so I'm thinking that if I clean up on the inside, see, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it inside out and give it a good clean. So I'll do a separate video on that. Um, and just keep you guys updated and I've also ordered for this a crossbody strap because there are I just thought that I could hook the crossbody strap onto These um, each side and it would be really really cute as a little crossbody bag throughout the summer so that is the first one a vintage Gucci bamboo bag and I would love to try and find more and link them for you, but I have never ever seen one of these before. And the fact that it came in a dust bag as well, like that is very, very rare. So there's the first bag. And if you haven't watched any of my recent videos, I was able to purchase these bags because I sold a few bags. So yeah, it's really fun to kind of do this whole process again and just constantly reevaluate my collection, sell the ones I'm not using to look out for ones that I potentially will use more. So this one is also a Gucci bamboo bag. So I have quite the collection now of vintage Gucci bamboo bags, but they are so affordable and not only that, they're so beautiful. And I'm kind of trying to collect them while I can because I, I'm i just waiting for this, for people to realize how good of a price these are because the bamboo is part of Gucci's heritage. And I just feel like once people get on board, I just can't see it being this, this cheap for long. So I am just trying to get into this. It's all very well wrapped. I will of course link the seller below. Alrighty, so this should have a cross body strap. Yes, oh my gosh. Guys, look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the inside and I'm going to stuff it so you can really see the shape. And it has a full on cross body strap. Oh my gosh, can you believe I got these? each of these bags for around $250, maybe a little bit more. So here is the strap. You've got the beautiful kind of brushed gold hardware and there is nothing wrong with this strap at all. I've just realized it's not adjustable. It's just a straight kind of strap. Let me just give it a little look. That'll be fine. I'll probably wear it crossbody anyway. And you've got the little loops on here for the actual crossbody strap. So that's always good. It just means that there's less strain on the actual handles of the bag. And then when you open it, guys, this is like a little mini um, Diana tote. That's exactly what this is like. And inside, now there is a girl um, that follows me on Instagram. And I was having a conversation with her about um, vintage designer bags. And I mentioned that I wanted this bag and she actually had one and I asked her before I bought it if a phone would fit inside and she said it, her phone fit inside hers. Oh my gosh guys I think this might be the perfect bag. If you're watching this and you think it's cute and you need to get on eBay now and purchase one, it fits my phone, it would fit a wallet, keys, anything that I would need. Um, I'm going to stuff it because it has lost its shape. Um, I'm Mm, that's all right though. It's still really, really cute. Let me just completely stuff it so we can really see the shape of it. And what I'm going to do is, again, do a separate video on this. So I'm going to keep this little show and tell quite brief um, so then I can kind of talk in depth. I will say the suede is quite worn. I haven't owned a suede bag before, so it'll be interesting to see how... I go with it um, and like I said if I really enjoy this bag love the size of it then I'll definitely look at purchasing it in um, black leather because you guys know I love black leather bags and I think this would just be oh my gosh I'm almost considering jumping online and buying a black leather one before this video goes live because I know that everyone's gonna jump on it and there probably won't be any left so that is the bag 
how cute is this going to be with a little summer dress and some little tan sandals i am just so so excited and i really tried to step out of my comfort zone with these bags i don't know if you can tell but i've tried to go um more smaller bags because i have a lot of work bags which i love and use a lot but i felt like i needed some more mini bags for weekends and also because i work from home quite a bit i don't need as many work bags as i had before so they are my new bags if you guys want to see more on these i will have videos coming up dedicated to each of these especially this one because i will be restoring it and yeah if you guys are interested in how i restore flaking and peeling interior then definitely keep your eye out for that one so they're the bags i am actually going to close off this video because i finished work for the day and i was kind of just waiting until these arrived so i could show you but that is a very normal day in my life when i'm working from home i hope it was interesting enough but i pretty much just sit at the computer get through my list and obviously try and break up the day with walks and also doing a little bit of housework just to keep my space clean um and i'll let you know how i go with that notion planner i've just i've got it minimized on my computer and i'm going to have a play around with it and if you guys want to see more vlog style content from me let me know and maybe in the next vlog i can give you guys an update or in my next planner video um, because if that goes well, then I think that that will be a really good option when I'm doing kind of content planning. I obviously love a handwritten planner. I will never get rid of it. Um, but in terms of just day-to-day -day planning, I think maybe a digital planner will work out really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all in my next one. Bye, guys.